powered by the Montana Television Network. The 10 o'clock news continues on KPAX, Montana's news leader. A man is dead after a snowmobile accident late last night north of West Yellowstone near Cabin Creek. And we're seeing the first time video of one of the snowmobilers caught in that slide. According to Gallatin National Forest Avalanche Center, six riders from Minnesota assessed that the slopes were too dangerous and opted not to climb. Instead, they stayed on the lower flanks, but one rider triggered the avalanche from below and was caught and buried under his sled. The ski to his sled was sticking out of the snow and his location was confirmed by a beacon. You can see what that looked like as it came down. It took the party 12 to 15 minutes to dig up the victim. He was identified as 40 year old Waylon Witterman and again he was from Minnesota. U.S. Senators are back at work today adding two new members to the chamber. But before the GOP led Congress can tackle the 2018 legislative agenda, they have to agree on a budget and avoid a looming government shutdown. CBS's Mola Lange reports now from Capitol Hill. Please raise your right hands. And Vice President Mike Pence swore in the U.S. Senate's two newest members Wednesday, Doug Jones of Alabama and Tina Smith of Minnesota, both Democrats. I think being a good senator is a bipartisan issue. That's what I want to do. The Republican majority in the Senate has narrowed to just 51. Republicans will look to win over Jones and other centrist Democrats on some key issues. Trump administration officials met with congressional leaders from both sides of the aisle to discuss the federal budget and the legislative agenda. The conversation today, the primary focus is on the budget. Once again, we'd like a clean uh, budget bill. Democrats called that meeting positive and productive, but a joint statement from Republican lawmakers and the White House warned Congress not to hold military funding hostage for immigration policy. Since fiscal year 2013, defense cuts have outpaced domestic spending cuts by $85 billion. Congress will have to agree on a spending bill by January 19th to avoid a government shutdown. Democrats are also working to gain some congressional seats this election year. Republican Senators Orrin Hatch, Jeff Flake, and Bob Corker are all retiring after their current terms. Like old times. Multiple sources tell CBS News they expect Mitt Romney to run for Hatch's Senate seat in Utah. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Lawmakers also have to renew financing for CHIP, the children's health insurance program that provides care for nearly 9 million low-income children. Coming up at Health Watch, it's an unfortunate problem with winter. Those pesky sidewalks and roads iced over. That's right, and the local physical therapist will show us how not to fall down. 